Hey everybody, Alarm Club here and today we're going to show you the Lyric security system installation process from the moment you receive your package. Now to go over some of the tools that you're going to need that don't come with the package, you'll need a box cutter or some scissors in order to get the package open. You'll need a small flathead screwdriver in order to work with the power transformer and the terminals of the Lyric security system. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, not too big. You'll need some wire strippers here uh, in order to cut your 22 gauge by two wire, uh, which I will go into more depth in the video, but you will need some 22 gauge by two wire cut to the length from the power transformer, which is inside, to the panel, which is inside. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. You can put it aside for the moment. So you'll probably receive another external box, uh, including the panel, which I've already removed, a cellular module if necessary, and some of your accessories and peripherals like your door and window contact, key fob, and motion sensor. So for the time being, all that we're going to really be working with is the main panel unit. So you can go ahead and remove some of the accessories and other things and make sure that you keep them close by. Now you've uh, exposed the insides of the Lyric security system. So keep all your manuals and everything, there's going to be a few of them, so keep those to the side. Uh, they're good to refer back to. Go ahead and remove your panel, the new Lyric security system panel. Remove the power transformer from the box, as well as your mounting screws, resistors, anchors, and things of that nature, your little accessory package. Now keep in mind, when you're opening everything, make sure that you keep it all in resellable condition in the event that you need to return it back to Alarm Club for whatever reason. So you can take the, back, the box and put it to the side. Now take your Lyric security system panel, remove it from its packaging box there, keep this as well, put it with the box, and now you're left with your transformer and your instruction manuals. Now that we have everything situated, the first thing that we're going to be doing is running the wires and mounting the wall plate. So what I mean by that is essentially you want to go ahead and flip your panel or the Lyric security system on its front side, pull this back wall plate off, and what I'm talking about is you want to make sure that you have the hole drilled here which basically is the, the wire terminal that will allow you to get into the terminals of the Lyric security system. So once you have your hole drilled and you have your wires running through, then you want to go ahead and uh, just make sure this is leveled. If you have a level or app on your smartphone or an actual level, just make sure it's level. And then you can go ahead and mount your four screws here. And optionally, you can go ahead and uh, use the tamper screw. Um, so you can go that route by mounting it on the wall if you choose. There will also be another option which is a desk mount which I truly enjoy. Uh, that means you don't have to run any hard wires or you know drill any holes in your walls of any sort. And that will basically allow your panel to sit up like this on a desk and it has two different options as far as uh, you know the profile and angle of how it sits on the desk. Uh, for now uh, we're going to continue. We're going to continue on, and uh, the second step, which is to install your battery. So, with this mounting plate off and to the side, uh, basically this this Lyric security system comes with the backup battery already installed. Uh, when you're ready to power the system up, all you would have to do is plug this in, and we will get to that point. I just don't want to plug it in yet because there's other things that we need to do first, such as wiring your power transformer. Now with the power transformer, Honeywell has added this new protective sleeve to the transformer which you will have to remove. So I simply like to remove the first side on the left, go ahead and push out the other side, like so. It is a little tricky but once you get the two sides exposed, just go ahead and grab it and pull it out, like so. And now you're left with the power transformer and the protective sleeve. So take your 22 gauge by 2 wire, locate the end that will actually be getting inserted to the transformer here, uh, which is right here, 
and simply insert the two ends through the wiring tube here. Pull some excess cabling through and take your transformer along with a Phillips head screwdriver. Go ahead and loosen some of these terminals and uh, you'll notice uh, right now there's a negative and a positive end. Uh, so this is a DC transformer in a DC system so you need to make sure that you have your polarity correct. Um, that basically means red goes to positive, black goes to negative and what I like to do is turn the transformer on its side like so meaning red will be on the left black will be on the right and I like these little uh, these little brackets in here you're gonna be inserting the red wire like so verify red to red which we have go ahead and screw that down like so and do the same for the black wire and just to reiterate take the cable and insert it between the bracket and the actual butt end of the transformer over here. Make sure it's in there secure. Go ahead and screw that down. And just give it a little tug. Verify black is into negative, red is into positive. And we can go ahead and put it back into the protective sleeve here, like so. just like that. So it looks a lot better aesthetically this way and uh, prevents anybody from really tampering with it. So you have the transformer all wired up. Now locate the opposite end which will be getting wired into the actual Lyric security system terminals here. And what I was saying earlier, I'll just reiterate it here, is that um, you, would, you want these wires to be able to run through this terminal here uh, because when, when the panel uh, rests on this this is where uh, you're actually going to need to have the wires running through. So pull some excess wire through and locate the terminals here, the power terminals. All right, and as you can see, the terminals that I'll be working with are going to be 9VDC, which are clearly labeled, and GND. So the black will be going to GND on the left, the red will be going to the 9 volt VDC right here and I like to just go ahead and insert them both at the same time and then you can just go ahead and screw them down now for the time being you can go ahead and put the back mounting plate on which should sit in there pretty nicely slide it into place like so and everything is just about done but uh, before we power up the system or even plug in the backup battery completely, uh, I want you to locate the cellular, cellular door here, which you're going to slide up. And then you're just going to simply pull it off. This is a very new technology that Honeywell has been working with. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install the cellular, uh, cellular communicator into it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the cellular sled device out of its packaging box very carefully should come in this red bubble wrap and I will remove it and there it is this is the new smaller G, uh, GSM CDMA radios that they have available and all you gotta do is locate the sticker here write down the AID and the CRC number that's the number that will be used for us to activate this cellular module take your panel place it on its side like so again with nothing plugged in including the backup battery not installed take your cellular module go ahead and slide it in until it clips into place like that and you'll notice right here there's a little screw that you're gonna want to uh, insert to secure this into place and you will find that back in the cellular communicator box it does look like this it's just a single screw go ahead and remove that from the packaging there it is. Go ahead and take your screw along with your Phillips head screwdriver here and you want to insert the screw into the designated terminal and just go ahead and screw that down and that'll secure the cellular module into place. Now take your cell door, line it up with these two little notches here and then go ahead and slide it down. So to this point we pretty much have the whole panel prepared and ready to go. 
All we got to do now is flip the panel on its backside. Go ahead and pull the mounting bracket off temporarily. Take your battery terminal. Go ahead and plug that in. Confirm your uh, wiring is all done correctly. Alright, and you can flip the panel on its front side. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the transformer and we should go through the booting process. Now that the Lyric security panel has gone through its booting process, at this point you should have scheduled a remote tech appointment with Alarm Club where we can assist you in remotely programming all of your Lyric peripherals into the Lyric security panel. Click the link above in order to view all of our Lyric programming and installation videos such as activating the Wi-Fi settings on this panel. And that's how you install the Lyric security system from the moment that you receive your package. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and view our website at alarmclub.com